many times have you read that poster? About a thousand. Well, you've, you've not gone home. Not once. I can't. I can't walk out that door knowing that something could be happening here. Well, I, I feel better for... for being here. And I know that we've got no control over anything, but... Yeah, it must have been hard for you being in the village, you know. Pretending you've got nothing to do with anything happening here. I guess I deserved that. No, Mackenzie, I meant it. But I've acted deplorably. I've treated you so cruel and nasty. I've pushed you away from any kind of support and family. I've, I've been a pig. I'm really sorry. It's OK. And I know it's a cliche. Um, but he is my flesh and blood. And I never imagined that I'd feel like this. I didn't... I didn't think I wanted him. But as soon as I saw him, it hit me like a train. Has he had the scan? There's no sign of brain damage. We're reducing his dependency on the ventilator and he's responding much better this time. I'm confident we're finally heading somewhere. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, can, I, can I go see him, please? Yes, of course, love. You should come too. Come see our boy. Is that you getting all those texts? Oh, maybe it's Mac. To <laughs> fat chance. At least being here, it'll take your mind off it. What, the fact is a complete and utter... Sorry, stop. This is about Chloe, we need to focus on Chloe, sorry. Yeah, but thank you for coming. She'll be dead grateful, I'm sure. Oh, no, I've got three messages from Chloe. Ruben started improving? They're going to reduce his dependency on the ventilator? Oh, finally, some good news! Oh, I could cry! Oh, come on, let's go and surprise her. We can get her some treats on the vending machine. OK, listen, I'm bursting for a piece, so I'll have to see you in there, yeah? OK, talk. -dok. Um, the baby unit's on the right. I've put your name on the visiting list. I'll see you in there. OK. Hi, wee man. Might be a little but he's one tough cookie. Well... Well, you certainly know how to... scare your daddy, Ruben. <laughs> You're gorgeous. And you've been such a brave boy. That'll be the Scottish in you. <laughs> or possibly not. machine wasn't working properly. You do know this is the wrong corridor. Paediatrics is way down there. Yeah, I know. Are you OK, Charity? You look a bit picky. Yeah. Uh, do you know what, actually? I, uh, I feel really grotty. Just been to the box now and oh, I feel so ropey. Oh, well, I hope it's not catching. Yeah, me too. Listen, will you do me a favour? Will you, um... Don't tell Chloe that I came with you, yeah? Cos it might freak her out a bit, thinking that I've passed something on in the car. Well, you don't think you would have, do you? No, God, no. Listen, this gut rot's got, um reheated off razor written all over it. Look, forget about me. Do you know what? I'm going to go and get a cab home now, and uh, you just focus on your sister and her a little baby boy. OK? OK. You look after yourself, yeah? 
bottle of this then, Chaz, please. Actually, uh, make it two. An unconventional interview, admittedly, and I seriously could have strangled you with my bare hands, but you went all out to save Monty. Also, that CV. You absolutely massive swap. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Hey, looks like Tom's going to be sticking around. He signed up for the Madhouse, our new vet. Oh, great. Be nice for the family. You back on the doorstep. Hey, how's Chloe doing? Oh, uh, yeah, all good. Uh, baby's going to be OK. Oh, hallelujah. That last deserves a break. Chaz, come on, we're going to celebrate to Tom's new job. Yeah, we also need to celebrate baby Ruben's recovery. Charity, come and join us. I'll get the glasses. Yeah, can you open them? Orange? Yeah. Oh, you got me. Um, I got this to try and reset the mood. Sorry. Why? Um, where do I begin? Ah, uh, I guess getting married kind of freaked me out a little bit, which is why I crashed at Nate's, and maybe why I went all halt like on Dan, and maybe why I would, I've been so moody with you yesterday. Why? Why was I moody with you yesterday? Are you just asking the... Sorry, are you just stuck and repeat? Are you just asking the same question over and over again? Why were you at the hospital? Sorry, when? Why were you sat with Chloe's baby? Why did you tell him that you're his daddy? Say it. Say it. He's mine. I'm Ribbon's dad. 